with another treat review after dark. And I don't know about you, but I'm really liking these treat review after dark. Oh, me too. Yeah, something about the wine is just a little bit better than the Sunday treat reviews. I don't know. So anyway, we're really excited to try some dry farm wines. This specifically is a 2018 Vega Tempranillo. And uh, it's pretty bold wine, but we're excited to give it a try. Heather's going to tell you a little bit more about how we got into Dry Farms. So Dry Farms, I first heard about on a podcast. I was traveling for work, and I remember texting Ryan from the airport, and I was like, we have to order this wine. So um, it's made for people who are into a healthy lifestyle, like we are, and like so many people we know are. And even if you are not, once you hear some of the facts about wine, conventional wine, you may want to look into Dry Farms or other wine companies like this. So there are 70 plus additives approved by the FDA for U.S. winemaking. Well, and it says, while some are natural and have been used for centuries, many are industrial cre industrially created and toxic. Crazy. Um, and also Roundup is used so often in farming like crazy if you haven't heard about this. Um, we'll probably do another video about it another time, but it's used so much in wine, in, in all farming that it even shows up in organic, like US wines. I mean, like that's crazy to me. Um, just really cool, they use older wines. It's sugar-free, low-carb friendly, paleo and keto friendly. Um, it's got lower alcohol. Dry farm wines do have lower alcohol content than um, most wines. This one is 12.5%. So does that mean we can drink more? Sure. I, I mean, Maybe. alcohol is a toxin, so <laughs> <laughs> everything in moderation. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but um, it's got lower sulfites. It's it's just they say no industrial additives. So um, and the the whole concept we would be remiss in saying dry farms they are irrigation free. So the grape that you're getting is not puffed full of water. It is full of the good things in that grape, the antioxidants, and um, all that good stuff for you. It's not just full of water. So you're getting a really true, like, old wine, like Ryan likes to say, like a Game of Thrones wine. Absolutely. Well, with all of that, I want to taste it. I don't know about you guys. Let's get to the wine. And the tasting notes on this wine do say, speaking of Game of Thrones, they say brooding. Shots snow. Yes. <laughs> so cheers. <laughs> cheers. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's really bold. Oh, absolutely. Um, so a Tempranillo typically is a very earthy wine. Uh, they always talk about the taste of leather and tobacco. Um, it, it does have a very fruit, cherry uh, taste to it, but you can definitely taste that kind of um, earthy tobacco taste in it, which is great. I love it. It's super bold and super smooth. I think if, and it's very forward. Mm. It doesn't have, I mean, it's got a good finish, but it's not one of those long, I mean, I, I still, it's, it's got a good finish, but like, I feel like it's very forward. Yeah, absolutely. So good. The exciting thing is with Dry Farms, they actually have a website link that you can look up the wine that you're getting because you're getting a variety of wines mm -hmm. from all over the world. So you can look it up on their website, see exactly the information about the wine you're drinking. You know, they talk about what's great to uh, eat with this wine. It is a pretty bold wine, uh, putting food with it, like lasagnas, any red sauces, pasta. Uh, they talk about smoked meats. Any grilled barbecue meats would be great with this wine. And as I'm drinking it, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, any smoked barbecue. Um, they even say uh, Mexican food huh. is excellent with it. Is, uh, is it okay if we have this at lunch with Chipotle? Does that count? I don't know. So, uh, and uh, d don't don't judge us for having wine with our Chipotle tomorrow at lunch, but I might want to give it a try to see what it tastes like. With, Who says there's going to be any Mexican that? food? So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's a great add um, to the company to be able to go on and see a little bit more about the wine you're drinking. Um, I, I really like it. Yeah, this is good. Give it a whirl. Mm. I'm sorry, I just can't stop drinking it. <laughs> Well, we hope that you're going to get out and look into some of these wines. They are excellent um, for as much as we can talk about them and tell you. Yeah. There's nothing better than you trying it yourself. So get out and give it a try and uh, let us know what you think. All right, guys. 
We'll hopefully see you next time with some more wine reviews. I think there's more in the future. We got a whole shipment in. So stay tuned <laughs> and uh, stay strong, stay healthy. Cheers, everyone.